This model does not have a distinct structure to represent the cell membrane. And the cell membrane is basically, in this model, a concept. So the cell membrane is basically the outer limiting structure that contains the whole cell. And it would be on the surface, of course, and you don't really see it on this model. It's a concept. The cell can be divided into two basic compartments, the cytoplasm and the nucleus. So if we consider the nucleus, which is right over here, everything outside of the nucleus, including all these organelles, would be considered part of the cytoplasm. So what we're going to do first is take a look at the nucleus. The nucleus has two membranes, which are basically similar to the cell membrane in structure. And these two membranes are referred to together as the nuclear envelope. So if you look closely at the edge, you can see that there is an attempt to show two nuclear membranes that comprise the nuclear envelope. You can also see in this nuclear envelope that there are pores. And these nuclear pores represent passageways by which large molecules can enter or leave the nucleus. The internal substance of the nucleus is referred to as the nucleoplasm. And you can see there are some distinct structures represented here in this model. They include these structures here. You see two of them, this one over here and this one right over here. And these are representing the nucleoli. So there are two of these, and if you want just to refer to just one, it would be called the nucleolus. And the term nucleolus simply means little nucleus, and because these look like another structure within the nucleus that is similar to the nucleus, but of course they're not. Another thing you can see here is the, all this brown thread is meant to represent chromatin. So this, is, this material here is representing chromatin, which is the genetic material of the nucleus. It would include the DNA and uh, proteins associated with the DNA that helps to organize it. 